when I was younger, I wasn't really into music. Not to say I didn't like it, but it was far from my favorite. That all changed when 10-year-old me heard the postmodern jukebox genre-blending cover of Talk Dirty to Me. Now I was mesmerized by the enchanting sound of it, and next thing I knew, my father was playing me bands like Barcelona Gypsy Klezmer Orchestra, Rammenstein, and the Klezmatics. And later on, when my parents forced 12-year-old me to learn an instrument, I chose violin immediately, for the simple reason that it was a non-wind instrument, which could still take lead lines in Klezmer. But I didn't really know anything of it outside of the weird semi-minor sound, until I saw everyone's favorite musical, The Fiddler on the Roof. Suddenly, I was blown away by the fact that this strange, dark, and creepy music was the traditional music of the Jews, or at least the closest thing we have today, and, likewise, was probably the music Christ would have been listening to, or close to it. And at this point, I started looking more closely at what klezmer actually is. It's built from two words, kli, meaning instrument, and zmer, meaning of song. So it's the instrument of song. Modern klezmer came to be from, to put it simply, bad Jews and gypsies in Russia. See, on and off throughout Russian history, most famously in the USSR, specific lines of work were delegated to certain social classes, wealth brackets, and races. The two races who were always allowed to be musicians in Russia were the Jews and the gypsies. Now, the gypsies are known for their travel, and due to this forced commonality, many bands of traveling gypsies were joined by those who were racially Jewish. Their music, just like the gypsies, spread around the world like wildfire, producing two genres of music that are around to this day. First is gypsy jazz, and the second is very much like klezmer. They both have a very similar sound and are characterized by steadily pulsing Eastern folk music, mostly played within the Western 12-tone system. They both have a similar sound, making us feel like we're constant travelers through strained lands, not our own. However, the Jewish klezmer is built in a mournful feeling that you've been cast out from your lots, land being forced to travel through other oppressive lands. The gypsies, however, embrace this homelessness and freedom, taking joy in the constant unforeseen cultures around them. But for now, we can leave it at that. Next time, we'll look at what technical aspects give this beloved genre its unique sound.